Hi, my name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist. And this is a simple explanation of the Big Bang Theory in astronomy. It's very difficult to simplify the Big Bang Theory. Um, it's a very complicated process with a lot of mathematical knowledge. Um, so I would do my best to simplify this. Um, let's say time zero. Let's make a timetable. Time zero, the beginning of the Big Bang. What do we have? We have a temperature that is infinite. All the space, all the matter, every, all the energy that we you know now in the universe was compressed to a really, really tiny volume. So it had infinite energy and all the forces, gravity, electroweak, strong, everything was together and there was one force only and this is called supergravity. And then a lot of things happen between that and 100 seconds. So we'll put in 100 seconds here, and then I'll quickly go over what happened between 0 and 100. So the first thing that happens is that the gravitational forces decouple, so it left the other forces. So now supergravity split into gravity and something called the gut. The gut is the grand unified force, and it's made out of the weak, uh, the weak force, which is uh, the interactions of fermions. And fermions are particles like electrons. And then we have the strong force, which is the nuclear forces, so protons, neutrons, they all interact towards uh, using the strong force. And then we have electricity and magnetism, which is electromagnetic theory. So this were, those three were made, um, were the components of the gut, and then we had gravity split. Later on, gut split, and it split into two. So here we had electricity and magnetism with weak together, and it's called the electroweak. And here we had the strong force. So if this is happening, the universe is really, really quickly expanding. Things are cooling down and all the forces are splitting. And once we go through this period of inflation, it's called inflation. At the end of inflation, what we have is the electroweak now splits into two. And then you have electricity and magnetism force. And then you have your weak force. And then we get to 100 seconds. So what happened during 100 seconds? Here the temperature had cooled down enough to start forming protons. So here we have the formation of protons, neutrons, etc. And this took, it took a while to make all this, um, all these particles in the universe. And then it actually took quite some time because the next thing is 380,000 years after the Big Bang. So what's happening at this time? We have something called the recombination era. So if, during the recombination era, the universe had gotten cool enough to form actually baryonic matter. So the protons, neutrons, and electrons were able to bound together and form elements. So here we make atoms. And then 500 million later, 500 million years later, we start forming structures. So stars, uh, early, early galaxies, and what we know of right now. And we're still expanding. And the next thing is 4.7 billion years later, and that's today. So a simple explanation of the Big Bang would be you had everything compressed into a very small volume all the forces were, were uh, together. It goes through an inflation period, 
in which all the forces separate and now you can make your quarks and then at some point it cools down enough to make the components of atoms. Later on it gets even cooler so it can actually make atoms and then years and years later it actually starts making structures. And that is a simple explanation of the Big Bang Theory. My name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist.